Johnny Ron, you know, you, what are you doing when you're a rock band? There's not, you know, there's not much you can do. You know, there's not legal venues you can perform at or uh, distribute your music. Or, so it's, there's, there's like a lot of difficulties involved with what we do. Our culture is very traditional, you know, so again, you know, rock and roll is not easily accepted. It's not part of the norm. On radio, they mostly play because it's like state owned. Um, yeah. it's, it's just traditional music. I know the laws against playing like music like illegally or underground, they're, they're pretty harsh, but they're like hardly enforced. They're just there. Like, you know, they say Western music is illegal in Iran. You can find any any CD or any music you want. If you like get right. caught, like the, the worst scenario is you get taken away to jail, you're, they'll, they'll take away your instruments, they might even break them, or you, you might get whipped. You know, there's, it's, it can be very severe, the punishment, you know, but, and the odds of that happening are just a, a, are about how careful you are about planning your, your event, you know. Make it as short as possible. I think consciously no one is like, standing up and shouting slogans, I think. But subconsciously, there's like this cultural movement, you know. Because art, especially music, has, has such a, it's so powerful when it comes to evoking emotions in people and making them, you know, transforming their lives in ways that other things can't. Especially like you don't watch a movie a thousand times or you don't look at a painting a thousand times, but you listen to a track, like, lots and lots of times. Well, the, the rules are, and the reasoning actually are like all pretty stupid. They want to like sort of keep away the Western elements, I guess, you know, in, in, in the music. If your music is, you know, too rowdy, you probably can't get a permit. Some guys just sitting behind a desk, you take him like a cassette, not even a CD, you just take him like a tape. And he plays the tape, he just listens to it, he's like, no, you can't get a permit. You know, if you sing in English, that's much harder to get a permit, you know. Like our sort of like more modern like indie sound, like for us it just didn't work out well. At the end of the day, you're going to be limited with, with your audience. You want to be like the first Iranian band to like break through on like a global scale, you know. Because no one has ever done this before us, you know, so. And we want to make sure that we do make it all the way to the top and so that our names will always be remembered. <laughs> <laughs> You're the champion. <laughs>